Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glisten Ralph here. I'm playing in another round of the Vintage Untap Open League. This is, once again, I'm playing in fact because I have to. It's in the contract somewhere. When you become Phyrexian, you have to play in fact every now and then, I suppose. Uh, Bladed Agent or Ink Moth Nexus into. Let's see. <laughs> it's all over the place. Blazing Shoal with either pitching Progenitus or Blasphemous Act to make lethal. Ta-da! Blazing Shoal is a plus X plus O, and it doesn't cost any mana to play. Which, Void Mirror is not in the, was not in the format as of when the deck lists were created, so we're good, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, other than that, we can tinker into Blightsteel, or we have Show and Tell into Blightsteel or Progenitus. Either way, we should be okay. We are against shops. Ads. We are against shops. Just the, the usual four walking ballista, three stone coil serpent, okay. Ravager, Revoker, Steel Overseer, Foundry Inspector, one Lodestone Golem, of course, two Phyrexian Metamorph. Whee! Mana, 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 uh, Sphere of Resistance, Thorn of Amethyst, Trinisphere, Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Okay, so that's where the fourth stone coil serpent ran off to. Fleet Wheel Cruiser, as it turns out. Uh, we, we prefer seeing Fleet Wheel because Stone Coil Serpent has reach. That's not good for us. That's not good. Alright, but here we are. So let's see. I'm ready to go. My hand consists of uh, three cantrips, force of will, man. So we are missing everything on the, on the combo side of things, unfortunately. Then they're keeping as well. Before I play it out. You. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I see. There we are. <laughs> they had to wait for the longest time just to be able to mulligan. So, I, as you can see up here, my computer crashed. Because it felt like it, again, it's one of those, one of those things. Alright. Here goes. So, I guess that's okay for us. So, we start off with... Uh, crack the fetch. I I know their deck. It's open deck list, so I know that this is fine. Now we are probably going to have to get a basic planes. Oh, okay, basic planes. Basic island. We have the black already in our hand because of the mox jet. So there's little reason not to. And this is a four wasteland list. Now it's listed under snow, as I recall. Snow covered. No, nope, it's just island. It was just island, that's right. We ended up picking one of the uh, Guru Islands. I love that art, that uh, the stages of an eclipse. That's so cool. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. I just think it's neat. Hello, there we go. Boop. Play a Preordain. I'm assuming it's okay, because once again, we kind of know. And then Scry 2. Click it and then ask me again, I guess just to confirm. Ah oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, that's not a combo piece. There's no combo piece in there. I am inclined to keep a lot. I should drop both of these, I think. But definitely you. You go on the bottom for sure. Uh, there's not enough. I mean, it, they have a lot of creatures. But we don't need to be taking four to kill one of their creatures, unless it's Lodestone Golem, which is a one-of. Uh, or, I guess, Stone Coil. Hmm, this would turn on Brainstorm, turn it into Ancestral Recall. I'm going to play a little bit riskily, though, and send it to the bottom as well, and draw a card. Alright, let's see how dumb that was. Well, we got a piece. We got a piece of our combo, and then we will pass. So if, if they happen to use Strip Mine here, then we are in trouble. That's what I will get. I will take my licks. If it's Wasteland, though, we're okay. It's hard to play around a restricted card. Hi. I'm sorry, is that Factory? Uh, yep, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 crap, 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 crap. That's good. <laughs> I 
Yeah, no. Oh, so they passed. That was quick. Okay. And that is a jet. Alright. What do we get? Probe. We'll play it now. Target them. Take a look. Oh, you suck. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> okay. Well, jeez. Uh, mental misstep. Y pretty useless card in this. Hits, soul ring, and mana vault. That's it. That's about it. Hello? There we are. Oh, how did I- why on earth did I not play my Moxon? If they had a Chalice, then I was in trouble. Jay, just- okay. You're- you're- uh, anyway. Come on. Come on, Jay. Alright. Okay, so we have to keep the tutor. Think. I like both of these, to be honest. Yeah, okay, so we can play the tutor this turn. It doesn't matter what the other card is because we're going to be shuffling it in just a sec. Still, I guess we'll put it on the bottom, just in case I forget, I suppose. I, I won't forget to shuffle, but in case I forget to play it, because I am the big dumb sometimes. Alright, so I guess one good thing about our good friend Mental Misstep is it pitches to Force of Will. Yay! Alright, and then pass turn. And that's what we care for here. So now, if they're really aggressive about it, they can play two Walking Blisters this turn. And an Arcbound Ravager. Just play all the things. Well, we can't let it resolve. Not an option. Oh god. Oh, okay. Wait. Sorry. Why? Oh, it's a factory, not a workshop. I am... Not a workshop. Yeah. Definitely, definitely do not rush ahead. That will happen. Alright, so countered. One down. Alright, here goes. Now they can attack. I'm just taking one, I assume. I'm not gonna eat their mana. End of turn. Vamp Tutor. Yeah, wish you were workshop, yeah. Okay, now we are at a bit of a... Ah, uh, this is, this is tough. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I think we have to go get show and tell. Walking Ballista, I think, is forcing me into a position where I need to get show and tell. We could get, alternatively, we could get Tinker. Tinker into Blightsteel. We see what's in their hand. Walking Ballista coming down doesn't do anything. Ravager is... Oh, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, let's get... Oh, this is tough. Because I, I genuinely don't know which one's better. Um... There's nothing they can do about either one of those two in the main board. So let's get, let's get Tinker. That's a faster kill. There it is. Uh, right, right click. I guess it'd be. Uh oh. Send to deck top. All right. So should be good. Unknown to top of deck. We should be okay. Hopefully, anyway. All right. Untap. Draw.
sacrifice Mox Jet. Okay. No need to reveal it. Oh, I, I missed that. Alright. Find card. Dun 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 there we go. Oh, hi! Hi, Blightsteel! <laughs> still in fact. It's still in fact, I guess. It's been a while since I've not capitalized the I in in fact. What can I really do about it? LOL. <laughs> True. True. It might be the kind of thing where it doesn't make a difference, but I think if I if I took Progenitus instead, they could maybe cobble together a lethal turn with Ravager thirst ooh, excuse me, throw stuff onto Ballista and then Ballista can ping me to death from there. I think maybe they might be able to do that. I think it's at least more viable than this. Oh boy. They must have had a terrible hand to have gone to six. I mean, shops, one of the advantages to the deck is that it is usually pretty consistent. Especially in an open decklist format like this, where we all know what the others are running. Metamorph, I swear to God. I swear to God. Sweet Jeebus. I swear to sweet Jeebus. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay. <laughs> it's hoping you show and tell a progenitus. That would be hilarious. <laughs> I thought about it. Well, I mean, there's Metamorph doing doing work, I guess. But they still, they still have to block with like they have to block with the Metamorph. Ravager won't do the job, because it's an 11-11. <gasps> I knew, I was just thinking, but what if, what if we get Blazing Shoal? What if? Iron Giant fight! <laughs> the blocking blight still dies still. Chump with Ravager before damage. Oh, they're gonna turn. They're gonna eat that. Top decks of glory. <laughs> was it this? When he was. You tried valiantly. Game two. I I don't think that English is Trinket's first language, so I don't know if they know what that means. All right, so let's let's try this out. Woo! Oh, wait, I think that they just beat me. Finish game and play another. Yep, there we go. Uh, wait till the end. Oh boy, we have a ton of shops hate in this matchup. So we have this, the one strip mine, which is iffy. I don't know if I bring this in, actually. Against their list, they are running factory, so it, it's I'm encouraged to do so. As for the rest, Damping Sphere on the play, not on the draw. It's, it's shop hate, but only on the play. Uh, Hercules Recall, Null Rod, Energy Rod, or Energy Flux, and then we can find room for Echoing Truth in the Damping Sphere slot. Uh, let's take out the cards that I know off the top of my head before I forget. Let me take out the cards that do nothing in the matchup. So Dismember's iffy. It's not worth keeping in, I think. Maybe on the play, but no. I think that one's fine to go out. Put you in really quickly. Force of Will is also pretty iffy. Uh, probe is fine. 
not ideal. Imperial Seal is the worst tutor, so it usually gets cut. Uh, let's find Mental Misstep before I... I just went right over... There you are. There you are. Okay. We put in the Null Rods. And then Scooch just a bit for... Wait, we already had Energy Flux, Null Rod. Ah, uh, what was the other one again? Hercules Recall. There we go. Which is the reason why we don't take out Mystical t uh, Teachings. Or Mystical Tutor. Hercules Recall. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I am blind. Oh, there you are. Okay, my goodness, Jay. My goodness. Come on now. And then we take out some number of Force of Will. See, the trick is I could take out a Gataxium Probe here. Force of Will is maybe necessary just to not die to hate pieces, but it's really not great against their deck. They're so redundant, it's not fantastic. Cataxian Probe gives me more velocity and lets me know what to play around, but since I have fewer Force of Will, and since I'm going to be forcing Energy Flux and Null Rod anyway, it's not as big of a deal. But it does draw me into one of my pieces. One of my hate pieces, potentially. But it gets shut down by Chalice. But it actually does work. It, I can pay two life in one mana through a Thorn or a Sphere. So we'll go down to one Force of Will in the main deck. If we would like to, we could put in Echoing Truth in place of the last one, which isn't a bad idea, I think. Um, uh, we're playing a, a bit from behind. Echoing Truth, I think, makes more sense on the play. Well, no. We'd be playing Damping Sphere on the play. Echoing Truth can be in the sideboard version of it. In place of that last Force of Will, Singleton Force of Will, how likely is that to come up? No, no, it's not. Uh, fun fact, it's not. But it hits Chalice. So, it works for me, I guess. Looking at their deck, let's see what they're likely to have in. It's like they didn't prepare for the Infect matchup. How could that be? Also, what the heck is Archive Trap doing here? What on, what in God's name is Archive Trap doing here? I am curious. Okay, I have to know what the heck is Archive Trap for. You can tell me after the match if you'd like. Genuinely. This is, this is some hard meta read, I guess, but I, I don't know. I get this one. I get this one. I get this. Uh, uh, yeah, this is for the mirror. What are you for? <laughs> okay, now. You know what? We could take out Force of Will in place of Strip Mine. That might not be a terrible idea. But they're on the play, so they're getting... No, 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 that's fine. They're getting usage out of their turn one mana anyway, before Strip Mine could do jack all. So let's not say we didn't. Um... Alright, Moment of Truth, Jay. Echoing Truth or Force of Will? Echoing Truth is really bad w against Walking Ballista. But it does a number on Arcbound Ravager. Well, no, it, it does a number on Arcbound Ravager if it's the one that's actually doing the attacking. If not, they can throw it onto something else. Alright. One is fine. Alright, here goes, Jay. Here goes nothing. Alright. 60 cards, let's let's go. Even though it just shuffled, I'll shuffle again. Totally makes a difference. Oh! There, one, there you are. Two, you're the only blue card in this hand. Three, there's Blightsteel. Naked Blightsteel. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. We'll wait on them first. Would you like to keep... See if they're okay with that. I'm not. One sec. Let's see. Mulligan to seven. Okay, now that's doable. That's doable. 
keep thinking. All right, you know, there is a problem here. Hold on, Morty, there is a problem. You know what we're missing? So this is actually keepable. Despite the fact that we have no blue mana, it's keepable because we have Ink Moth, two mana, and this requires no mana. So this is actually not as bad as it looks. It's not great, but we ha I think we have to keep it. Now, Show and Tell would give us a way to play out the Progenitus. Uh, and it is the most expensive card in the hand, so it should be the one that gets dropped. And it will indeed get dropped, even though it is an alternate win condition. Send to deck bottom. All right, here goes. Good to go. As the archive trap is an effective net decking. <laughs> I mean, can't argue with that, right? I just realized why you're supposed to um, say that the other person won. It's for the shuffler here. Not the shuffler, the turn order decision. No, nothing about the metagame here is in most of the list, so I figured it's there for a reason. Probably to hit decks playing Oracle, right? That's his oracle? Alright. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Thinking. Yeah, there's not anything I can do about this. That's an ancient tomb. I'm gonna say it's good. Alright, no response. We'll draw. Hmm. All right, pass it right along. Do we have it? Do we have it? Oh, by the way, uh, looking at their list, they have zero copies of Dismember. So their outs now are Walking Ballista. I I'm checking to make sure. I think that we're good. Yep, we should be good. Resolves. In response to one of their draw effects, I'd imagine. Oh, crap. There it is. Crap. Uh, well... It was worth a shot. No response. Send it my way. Oh boy. Oh boy. What on earth is this thing doing over here? We've got a random pop-up showing up. There we go. That's always fun to see. Well, the draws didn't work out that well for me. It looked playable, but, you know, the deck that runs Strip Mine and Four Wasteland was bound to have something. Actually, while I'm looking at it, their lands do not include any Ghost Quarters or whatnot. So they had about a 1 in 2 chance. A little bit better than a 1 in 2 chance of having them in their opening 8. 7 plus the draw. Yeah, in retrospect, the odds probably weren't in my favor, but I figured it was better than going down to... Oh, jeez. Probably, anyway, better than going down to, uh, five. Sometimes it happens. Again, this is Shops. It's one of the more consistent decks. We'll play it out. I wonder if... Hmm, they don't have any way to look at my hand, so I wouldn't be giving them more information. One, two, three. We'll give it at least one more draw step. You win 0% of the games you concede. 
But, on the other hand, Trinket doesn't have a whole lot of time. Uh, Trinket is actually watching a sport event. Sports event. He's in Europe, so... I say he. I don't know. Is in Europe, so I think it's sport over there. Instead of sports. You know, as you do. Jeez, that's a lot of mana. That's eight mana. That's a walking blister. That's a 4-4 four, four walking blister. Ah, uh, it's an 8-8 eight, eight stone coil serpent. Game three. That's an 8-8 eight, eight stone coil serpent. Yeesh. Technically speaking, yeesh. Alright, there we go. And then, since we're on the play, let's go to Damping Sphere, put that in, and take out one more card. Force of Will. Alright, there we go. Damping Sphere in. It makes Ancient Tomb and Mishra's Workshop tap for one mana, and it also prevents them from storming off with a bunch of Moxen on, a, on turn one. It's rare that it comes... Well, it has gotten me a game before. In in the untap... Not this, but in an untap open league. It has gotten me the game. Oh, yeah, it might also help if I drew. Oh, right. Well, once again, we have no hate pieces. We have Tinker Mox, so that's fine. We'll keep. We'll keep. Jeez, though. Jeez, oh, 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 oh. Jeez Louise. Oh, boy. All right, so there's a mulligan from them, I think. Yep. All right, there we go. Keep. Let them go to six. Give them a chance to drop something. What do they have? What do they have? What you got? What you got? Hold what you got, folks. Not wearing one of my... If I remember, I think the Trinket said that they were watching Euros right now. Oh, still haven't decided yet. So I don't know if that's soccer or football. Or what that might be. I'm sure this is a decision. A decision decision. <laughs> we had the chance, we had the potential to win uh, without casting anything that required blue mana. <laughs> casting one spell. One spell wins you the game. Well, okay, it would have been two, actually, because of the mocks. Because of the mocks. But it happens. It happens. We can try to jebate them by getting an underground sea here, so we can make them more likely to play out a wasteland turn one. I don't know that that actually does the job, though. I don't think that it does, actually. Getting jebated. But I, I think that if there's ever a time to get an underground sea first against shops, it's when you have multiple blue fetch lands. <laughs> multiple fetch lands. Alright. There we go. Alright. Start off with the shiny one. Boop. There we go. Alright. And then find a cad. Pick a cad. Any cad. Alright. All the way at the end. Thank you. If you drag it too quickly, it seems to get lost. I think that's my computer, though. I don't know that that's untap. Uh... And then you. Pass turn. Uh, as for Mystical Tutor, it can get anything, but Hercules Recall would be sort of a oops, I don't die button against them. We can save that for later, though. We don't have to pop it now, if that's all that we're getting. Now, one disadvantage of getting the Underground Sea is that it actually puts us back a turn if we're trying to build for Tinker here. I don't think that they'll go for it, though. There's Blotus. There's Black Lotus. Alright. Very good. Uh... 
thinking. That's lodestone mana. We've got to be careful. Yeah, that's very much that's very much into lodestone mana. Oh boy. Yeah, they don't really have much of a sideboard against me. They can take out some dead cards, perhaps. If they, I'm sure they have dead cards in here against me, um, in place of worm coil engine, perhaps. They must have some dead cards here, right? Maybe? Surely? I mean, actually, not not really. Uh, what's that? Wasteland? Alright, play to graveyard. Float blue. Alright, yep. Yeah. Uh, hello? There it goes. Uh, thinking, do it now. Oh, uh, what are the odds? No, we'll wait. Okay, it's gone. It's gone, baby, gone. Second. They did that correctly. All right. Ooh. Ooh. There's Blagent. All right, I'm going to make you have it. This time we are getting the island. Hello? Thank you. There you are. Pretty Eclipse Island. Let's see. Here we go. Alright. Never early, never late, right on time. Or at least that's how it feels. I'm gonna make you do it. Yeah. This is mostly just bait, though, to be honest. We obviously don't have the combo pieces. But if we can get them to burn a walking ballista here... Yep. Yeah, I don't think we care about the damage. I have a sneaking suspicion that that does not matter. Jeez. Okay, they have five mana anyway. Ouch. Oh, boy. Alright, so we can play Hercules Recall next turn, if we need to. By, uh, bef uh, after we untap, before we draw, so during the upkeep using the island to get Hercules Recall, then fetch. We can do that, that's one option. We'll see what they drop here. I swear, if it's another Stone Coil Serpent, then we are absolutely doing that. Well, I say that, they'll, they'll still be able to get it back, but we might just need to. Alternatively, we can just tinker. Just tinker. No, wait a minute! We have to tinker first because they have Metamorph. Hi, Fleet Wheel Cruiser! Oh, wait. wait, trample? Trample. Uh, both have trample. Alright. Not doing it this turn. Not yet. Not yet. Ah, oh, well, I can't do both at once. It would be nice to just do both at once, just to save time. But, oh well. Hello? Come up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright. Oh, no, not that one. Not that one. Just, you know, while we're here... Hello? Can you... Go away. Thank you. 
Alright, there we go. Hi, biggin. Big boy. Big boy time. You know it. Alright. Oh, jeez, what on earth? What on earth did I just do? Meant to type thinking. Mm-hmm, untap. <laughs> Scribe the top zero cards. Uh, let's see. What am I in? Second? <laughs> Probably makes no difference. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll pass. Pass turn. Alright, come on. We can, uh, do both. We can go Mystical Tutor into Preordain and just hope to have it. Mystical Tutor to get... Oh, wait a minute. That's unfortunate. Ideally, we'd be able to use uh, Preordain first, but of course it's a sorcery, so we can't. Um, but Mystical Tutor could get whichever piece we're missing. So, for example, if we happen to find Blazing Shoal, we could use Mystical Tutor to get Blasphemous Act instead to complete it. Oh boy, I've actually never cast Blasphemous Act except against Mentor decks. Uh, a Mentor deck. But I could see a world where I could actually cast it against shops. Take your time. Jeez Louise, Fox. Jeez, I've been saved by Fox. How swell. It's not even attempting a Falco voice. What would it what would that even sound like? Jeez, I've been saved by Fox. How swell Yeah no. Uh, my my Fox impression is Ah yeah! Yeah! Ah! Hey! Hey! Ah yeah! Okay. Okay now. Okay, Jay. Enough of that. Let's see how much space we have on the card. Should be good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're okay. Alright, though. Whale. Whale. So I am tempted to open up a tab just to see what Euros is. Uh, so I could. What? But we're recording now, so let's not. See what sporting event they're watching. Or will be watching. We're, we're blocking out certain times so that we can't play in, like while the game is going on, while the match is going on. That's the idea, anyway. So, their time, we could only play at 2pm, 5pm, 8pm, which hopefully is enough to tell somebody out there what's going on. Maybe. Alright, so Fleet Wheel Cruiser is, sometimes anyway, a one-time usage. Now granted, lots of creatures actually turn this on to go off again. So, Friction Revoker, for instance, will do that. Uh, or a Baby Walking Ballista. Or, a, you know, an Arcbound Ravager with one sack. Like, you get the idea. But on this board, I mean, they have two cards in hand. I Or three, excuse me. Let me turn the brightness up. The glare kept me from seeing. They have three cards in hand. Uh, yeah. Yeah, good times. Good times. Yeah, the brightness is all the way down on the computer. Gotta protect these eyes. You only get one set of them. And I'm light sensitive anyway, so it makes sense. It makes sense. Wait a minute. Oh, crap. I can see the top card in my deck. Well, it doesn't help us. It, no, no, it doesn't matter, because we're about to shuffle it away anyway with Mystical Tutor. It doesn't matter. I just noticed that. Scry the top null cards. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, so they did something, right? 
tapping Mana Crypt. Alright. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh oh. I mean, I can't do anything about it. But. Huh. Crap. Okay, then. Two cards left. I'm gonna make them think I might have it. And in all seriousness, I, I will have to think about how I would like to respond to this. So that's, technically speaking, a pain. Technically. Oh boy. No point in waiting any longer. So I can use Mystical Tutor to put something on top of my deck that I will not then be able to cast. Ravager, okay. That's a problem, folks. Oh, that's a problem. Technically speaking, that is fun. Wait, what did they just eat? Oh, okay, I see what's going on now. I see what's going on. Alright, well... Hmm. No, we're dead. We're dead. If they do... Wait, are, are we? Are we dead? I think we're dead. Wait. I know I do this every time. <sighs> when it sat, when it eats another artifact, it puts one counter on the Ravager, regardless of how many counters that other artifact had. When the Ravager sacks itself, it puts all of its counters onto something else. All right. In other words, if it eats the Stone Cold Serpent, Arpan Ravager gets one counter, not five. If it, on the other hand, it can throw, how, how big can it make that? Let's see. How big can it make this? Three? Four. And then becomes a nine power creature. Oh, I'm dead. I am dead. Alright, I'm going to make you play it correctly. I'm going to make you do it. Final. Do it. Do it. Alright, here goes. Let's see if they see it. Three. Thank you, Windows Driver Updater. Whoa, they didn't even have to. They didn't even have to play out the sphere. Oh, wait, they didn't play the sphere in case I had a zero mana option, I guess. Yep, so that is a 5-3. That is now an 8-6. GG. You got me. I was missing the combo. Sadly. Nope, but I wanted you to think that I did. How'd you sideboard? Just out of curiosity. So I will sh show them how I sided. Nothing. <laughs> Let me get all this junk. All this junk. Hello? Okay, never mind. That didn't that didn't go as planned. Screw it. Let's just put all these in. Thought this through several times, really didn't have anything good.
you're right. I didn't see any of my seven SP cards. One sec. This is kind of weird doing it this way, but... Alright, and then find card. Hey! It makes it nice and easy, doesn't it? Energy Flux. Super duper OP, right? I think it's seven, in which case, Damping Sphere. Hercules Recall, which to be fair, with one more turn we could have tried to get. In retrospect, I could have gone for that instead, but, you know, I didn't... I didn't know. I didn't know. The Ravager there was... that made a world of difference. Yeah. They also didn't have to play the Ravager. Hercule Energy Flux Sphere <laughs> and Null Rods. Yup. Yup. Force of Will came out, actually. It's not usually great. I... off to watch the Euro matches. No problem. Thank you. Thank you all for tuning in. It happens sometimes. We didn't get a standard infect kill, and we didn't seem to find anything. Alas. That'll do it. You got me, bud. You get that one. Alright. I guess in that case, I'll catch you all next time. See you next video. Bye-bye.